I'm sure that by now the majority of you all have heard about the allegations made against Russell Brand. And in my last video, I talked about how Hollywood is exposing themselves in the process of trying to expose Russell Brand. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in this video as well. Now, as far as the allegations go, I don't want any of you all thinking that I am shying away from going over these allegations in full detail, but the reality is that YouTube simply will not allow that. Even if I tried, I would have to try, I would have to literally censor every other word because these articles are filled to the brim with buzzwords that are not allowed on YouTube. However, if you have the ability to watch this video right now, you also have the ability to do as I did and read one of these countless articles that are floating around online as we speak. I've read at least a dozen articles by now. So if you all are interested in hearing about these allegations in full detail, check out one of these articles. Now, to be clear, I cannot prove that these allegations are false, just like the media cannot prove that these allegations are true. However, I feel as if I can prove that this is indeed a coordinated hit piece against Russell Brand. Now, just because this is a hit piece does not mean that the allegations are false. The allegations can be true and this can be a hit piece at the same time. It's all about the intent. You know, what was their intent behind releasing this information? Why now? Why did you wait? Why did you decide on this timing? You know what I mean? So we can prove that this is a hit piece without having to prove that these allegations are false. Now, a lot of people think that this is something that just happened overnight. A lot of people think that these are new allegations that women just last night must have come forward with all of these new claims about what Russell Brand did to them, but that is not the reality at all here, folks. None of this stuff you know, that they're accusing Russell Brand of, none of this stuff happened in recent history. In fact, some of these allegations are probably older than some of you watching this video right now. So none of the information, none of the accusations that we're dealing with are new. All of this is old information and the media even admitted themselves that they have been working on this. They've been working on this hit piece for a few years now. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they had to say in this article. Most of the women who do not know each other have chosen to remain anonymous. Over the past few years, reporters have interviewed hundreds of sources who knew or worked with brand, ex-girlfriends and their friends and family, comedians, other celebrities, people who worked with him on radio and TV, senior staff at the BBC, Channel 4, and other media organizations. Along with these interviews, reporters have seen private emails and text messages, submitted freedom of information requests, viewed medical and therapist notes, scrutinized Brand's books and interviews, and watch and listen to hundreds of hours of his shows on the BBC, Channel 4, and YouTube to corroborate these allegations. So, right there, they go ahead and let you know, oh, we've been working on this hit piece for the past few years. Now, why is this number so significant? The past few years. What, what has happened in the past few years? Well, you see, a few years ago is when Russell Brand blew up on YouTube. A few years ago is when Russell Brand really rebranded himself. And instead of going with the same old Hollywood narrative, he started going against it. A few years ago is when we were on lockdown, okay? A few years ago is when Russell Brand, starting, um, Russell Brand started calling out 
a lot of the lockdown rules and regulations. It's when Russell Brand started questioning the narrative around the beer bug, when Russell Brand started questioning the jab, the poke, you know what I mean? Stuff that I can't even say here. So they let you know right off the bat that this isn't something that happened overnight. None of these people like came forward to them with these allegations. They went out searching for them. So for the past few years, as soon as, and they say it's been the past few years, and that timeline, it lines up perfectly with when Russell Brand started calling things out and questioning a lot of the mainstream narratives and agendas. They let you know that they themselves decided they were sitting there, nothing was going on, no one came to them. They got a wild hair up there behind and decided, hey, we're going to start freaking investigating Russell Brand. Russell Brand is saying things on YouTube that we don't like. Russell Brand is going against the Hollywood cult. Russell Brand, it, it, he's dangerous to the establishment. Therefore, now we're going to start investigating him. They even admit that they have interviewed hundreds of people. They went out of their way for no reason to start investigating this man. They've, they've interviewed hundreds of people, but they only managed to find four people who had these horrible stories about Russell Brand. None of them will identify themselves. All of them wish to remain anonymous. And you can feel how you want to feel about that. I'm not trying to judge them for that. I understand why some people would want to remain anonymous. But at the same time, I mean, you're making yourself not look as believable as you could. So all, all out of these hundreds of people, they found a few people that were willing to throw dirt on Russell Brand. It took these people three or four years to put together this hit piece, to put together this documentary. Obviously, the things that Russell Brand did, they weren't bad enough to automatically, you know, want him to be held um, criminally accountable. No charges. No one's gone to the police. The mainstream media did not ring the alarm. They sat here on this information for years trying to build up a hit piece uh, against Russell Brand. And they started three, four years ago right when Russell Brand was blowing up on YouTube for questioning the beer bug. The timeline lines up perfectly. Oh, but it does not end there, folks. We are just getting started. Here's the, the crazy part. And listen, I don't know if these people are just stupid or if they just think their audience is stupid. But even in this expose, even in these articles, as they try to expose Russell Brand, they are continuously exposing themselves. You see, a lot of these allegations against Russell Brand, a lot of this misconduct that Russell Brand took part in, it happened while Russell Brand was working with or alongside Channel 4 in the UK. And it just so happens that Channel 4, they're the ones that are spearheading this investigation. Channel 4, they're the ones airing the documentary that they made about Russell Brand. Yet it just so happens that most of this misconduct, most of these allegations happened while he was employed with Channel 4. So Channel 4 is exposing themselves that they, um, if this, uh, if these allegations are true, then Channel Four, the very outlet that's trying to expose Russell Brand, they were complicit. They sat there and did nothing for years as Russell Brand got away with all of this. I don't know if they're just stupid or they think other people are stupid, but it, it's right there in your face. They're exposing themselves, and now they released a statement. Channel 4 is appalled to learn of these deeply troubling allegations, including behavior alleged to have taken place on programs made for Channel 4 between 2004 and 2007. We are determined to understand the full nature of what went on. We have carried out extensive document searches and have found no evidence to suggest the alleged incidents were brought to the attention of Channel 4. 
we will continue to review this in light of any further information we receive, including the accounts of those affected individuals. We will be asking the production company who produced the programs for Channel 4 to investigate these allegations and report their findings properly and satisfactorily to us. So now they're backpedaling because I... <laughs> I guess, if, like I said, either they're just this dumb or they thought you all were just this dumb, but they've exposed themselves in the process of exposing Russell Brand. This goes to show how desperate these people are. They're so desperate to silence Russell Brand that they are willing to throw themselves under the bus. Hey, it's us, Channel 4. All of these allegations, all of this misconduct happened under our watch we knew about it. We chose not to say anything about it until we were ready to silence Russell Brand. Until we got the orders that, hey, we got to put out a hit piece to silence this dude because he's swaying public opinion against these, you know, powerful entities that want him to be silenced. Okay? So Channel 4 has been a part of this for a long time. In fact, right here it says, a fourth accuser told the program that Brand had allegedly exposed himself to her during his time working at Channel 4 in the early 2000s. This was not a secret. They even admitted the two, they admitted themselves in the article that Brand's attitude towards women became an open secret in radio and TV production. So supposedly, even though we're just now hearing about this, Hollywood these TV outlets, news outlets, radio outlets, they knew about this for years. It was an open secret. But now, because Russell Brand has stepped out of line, now they want to say something about it. I think it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious that most of these allegations happened while Russell Brand was working with Channel 4. Yet Channel 4 is the one that had the nerve to spearhead this hit piece against him knowing that he was working for y'all when this was happening. This stuff was happening on your TV sets, on, on your um, production sets, on your time. And the reality is y'all knew about it. You admitted it was an open secret, but now that it's kind of backfiring, now that people like me and people like y'all are questioning things, now they're trying to get ahead of it. Oh, we had no idea. We had no idea. Yeah, let's look right here. Let's look right here. Alice, who's one of the accusers, right? Uh, it's not her real name, who later worked at Channel 4. She recalled a meeting in late 2013 or early 2014 during which Brand was pitched as a host of a show, but concerns about his behavior were flagged. The solution that was offered was that we would take the female staff off the crew, women that have worked hard to get into this industry now can't work on particular shows because of fear that they might be assaulted or harassed, I was in disbelief. So supposedly in 2013, 2014, it was just a known fact that Russell Brand, you know, had this thing, all right? That Russell Brand had this, this thing attached to his name. Everyone knew the open secret that he was horrible with women. So news stations and TV outlets would have to readjust who they would allow to work alongside of him because everyone knew in 2014 and 2013. Yet Channel 4 is acting like they didn't know. Meanwhile, the accusers are claiming that he was whipping his... <laughs> that he was exposing himself to them on the literal sets of their TV shows. But... Let's go forward. Let's make matters even worse, okay? Russell Brand has worked with Channel 4 as recently as 2019. Mind you, these allegations were from the early 2000s. Even as late as 2014, 2015, these TV stations supposedly knew that they couldn't allow certain women to work alongside Russell Brand because he was so much of a monster. Yet Channel 4, they're trying to pretend like they didn't know anything about it. And they even worked with him in 2019. Brand continued to be given opportunities by mainstream broadcasters in the UK. 
including on Channel 4. In 2019, he appeared on a celebrity edition of Bake Off. He baked biscuits inspired by the genitals of his wife. So in 2019, after Russell Brand was allegedly exposing himself to people while working on Channel 4, while Russell Brand was allegedly forcing himself onto people, R-wording people, all of this stuff, right? This has been going on for, for, for decades, right? But in 2019, Channel 4 thought it was a good enough idea to allow Russell Brand to come on their channel and to bake pies shaped in the shape of his wife's vajayjay. Now, isn't that crazy? Isn't it crazy how, how fast things change? In 2019, well after all of this stuff supposedly happened, well after Channel 4 should have known about it, they were allowing him to still come on TV. They didn't care about none of this stuff then because 2019 was prior to him starting to call out the jab, the beer bug, the lockdowns. So it shows you how quickly they changed. 2019, you're welcome to come on Channel 4. You're welcome to do sexual things, bake pies in the shape of private parts. We encourage it. We love it. 2020, Beer Bug comes out. Russell Brand steps out of line. They start investigating him. This is an obvious hit piece. They don't try to hide it. They admit it and they expose themselves along the way. Count over and over and over again. They're exposing themselves over and over again. And like I said, how hypocritical. I mean, honestly, if you're going to judge Russell Brand for all of this, and I have no problem if you do, but you can't judge Russell Brand without judging Channel 4. If Russell Brand deserves to be canceled, then so does Channel 4. Channel 4 allowed all of this stuff. And once they got, I guess, the orders that, oh, it's time to cancel Russell Brand, now they're exposing things that they knew happened on their own sets for years. Make it make sense, people. Like, I honestly, I just don't get why this is flying over so many people's heads. We have this news outlet literally exposing themselves, exposing the fact that they were okay with all of this, they were going to cover all of this up, all of this stuff didn't matter to them until Russell Brand stepped out of line. This shows you the rules for thee, not for me. Russell Brand, if these allegations are true, he was allowed to do all of this. They, they, they worked around it. They made sure that he was catered to. Okay? They, they didn't care what he was doing to people until he went against the cult. He went against the mainstream narrative. He went against the mainstream media. Therefore, they had to take him out. This should show you the intent behind this. This is not about the victims. They don't care about the victims. And I want to be fully clear here. It's not like all of these people suddenly came forward with stories about Russell Brand. They actively went out here and tried to dig up whatever they could. It took them three or four years, people. It took them three or four years to come up with four people that had allegations against him. And who knows if these people are telling the truth or not. We don't even know who these people are. But like I said, I can't prove to you that the allegations are false. I can't prove to you that they're true. I'm not here to tell you which one. I don't even know what to believe at this point. I don't know if they're real or fake. All I know is this is a hit piece and the mainstream media literally sat here and crafted this hit piece for years to attack Russell Brand and to discipline him, basically, for stepping out of line. Let me know your thoughts, though, down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.